today. Actually, hold on. Um, we're playing some more Madden 22 online head-to-head -head today. We are going to be using the Atlanta Falcons. Hold on. We're going to be using the Atlanta Falcons because there is an interesting story out now about the Atlanta Falcons. So let's get into it. So earlier on in the year, in uh, November-ish, Calvin Ridley ended up um, taking a... Oh my god, we're playing a Chiefs user. Ended up taking like a leave of absence from the Falcons organization. EA Sports coverage of the uh, National Football League is on the air. A moment this, ago, here was the scene. Actually, the Falcons coming out from their tunnel season, to the roar really of all the folks here in Atlanta. We're running for football as these Falcons get sent to match up the with the Kansas the Falcons City Chiefs. Shags, hoping that he would win. The man from nearby Georgia Tech, Harrison Butker, gets us started. Off we go from Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Cordero Patterson to return it, bring it out of the end zone. And he was we will not see a run back Jim on the opening kickoff. Really this will be a touchback. No, I don't think anyone's going to touch him until next year because he just got suspended the entire year. So that's basically what's going on in the Falcons universe. So I thought, why not use him in uh, 22? So we're going to be using him here. There's the there he is, 18. You little gambler, you. Opening carry of the game for Cordero okay, Patterson. Cute. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll go as a loss of three right away, and it's second down. The job of any linebacker involves having enough strength to fight off a blocker and get into ball carriers. But in this case, I think we can safely say he beat him right off the snap to get into the backfield and make that play. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Third and long. It's Ryan escaping the pressure right. Oh. A high throw there as this is knocked away, down okay. to the ground and incomplete. Um, Scramble drill nice there, Thomas partner. Some teams have some pretty good rules scoring. for it. Others are just saying, make happen? sure you work your way back into the sight lines of your quarterback, Saints. even if you take the play Since deep. The and that's what they attempted to do on that one, unable to connect. Oh my God. <laughs> and he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. <sighs> Cover six. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and ten at their own 20-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. A throw right side taken in by the tight end Gray. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Nice. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. A lot scrimmage, the 37 on first, first and 10. Really I mean, if I was going to... Shotgun snap to the Jaguars too. <laughs> and his throw is going to be incomplete. Noah Gray, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over in your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My so bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. Flush to his right. Oh. 
And that is incomplete. As my dad used to tell me all the time when you're getting ready to play a big time game, especially when you have one going into a dome I'm setting, bear strap it up tight because that crowd can really affect things. Especially on third downs like the one we just saw there with the incompletion. Oh, a big decision here early. Look at this. They're going to go for it on their own side of the field. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Caught Kelsey, left side. And he's not able to get away. He is stopped well, well short of a first down. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And it'll be a turnover on downs. They'll run on first down. Patterson oh will fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. And that doesn't have to gain big yardage to be an impactful yes. play because if you can get those pass rushers second-guessing themselves that they might get hit with a screen, maybe you can wind up slowing them down just a step. And if you do that, that's a win for that play. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And a nice call and really good execution there because they gave him a little bit of a different launch angle, perhaps, you know? You don't want to have the quarterback drop him back five to seven steps on every play and have the defense zero in on it. There you hope that you get your defense going one way. They send him the other, and they picked up nice yardage with that completion. <laughs> Obviously, a big play was needed, and you can see his eyes light up as he realized there's absolutely no one in front of him. And he takes off and goes, and goes a long way. Not only does he pick up a first down, but a big gain to boot. Here we go now on first and goal. Out of the gun, it's Ryan. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Once you get into the red zone, space is at a premium for receivers to try and operate and shake themselves free. That one's incomplete. Second down and goal. Ryan eluding the pressure right. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. And he's only hit on two of his first six passes. Time for a quick quarterback regroup here with a big third down coming up. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. To throw is Ryan. To the inside. Oh, it's incomplete. They certainly had good starting field position on that drive, but couldn't do anything with it after three plays. Have to admit that that's a disappointing end to excellent field position. When that drive started, they had six points that they were thinking about. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not, Either not way. the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. 3-0 after one. EA Sports.
Looking to throw again on second down. Mahomes, a oh, hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Here's Mahomes to throw. Yep. Try to find his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Put up by Deion Jones, the Deion linebacker. Jones. And he takes this one back into the end zone. The Falcon defense has a touchdown. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Flushed out right. That is incomplete. Well, I think it's high time to get him some passes that he's comfortable with. Some easy throws, some completions. He's not even hitting the 50% thus far. Well, certainly that has played a big role into why they are trailing right now. Here they go again, second and 10 from the 25. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. The Chiefs on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and ten. That's out to Hill, right side complete. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now it's Mahomes again. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. Not much there, only a yard. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. A big play there on the catch and run. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Mahomes now on first down. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. 
Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. And he'll go back to Kelsey. This time it's caught. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. He missed it. No good. So this remains a four-point game. one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss they're going to mark that where it went out of bounds so really good starting field position up past the 40 yard line they've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 41 yard line they'll try the left side it's Patterson and not much room to operate as he'll get this up only to about the 41 just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. The Off the play fake, here's Ryan. They'll roll him out right. What the fuck? Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here at their own 33. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Now a swing pass. It's Edward Delaire. Okay, and he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. <laughs> I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone tried to account for someone. Oh, Brian, what the hell was they that didn't play? Account for the running he threw back, way out too short, first of all. He was absolutely unnoticed Kelsey's and wound up getting big yards on that play. On first down, Mahomes. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw once more on second and ten. Mahomes, they're going deep for Hill. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. It's Eric Harris who picks it. And the Falcons are going to take possession here at their own 16-yard line. And that now two interceptions thrown in the second quarter. And you know, a lot of people look at these guys and they think to themselves that maybe, possibly, they're still thinking about the first one. And they probably are. I think in this case, he's just trying to atone for the first interception. Tried a little bit too hard, maybe forced it a bit, and instead created a second one. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Like really as soon as cute. I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought Post and my eyes drag. gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown. Oh, yeah, he's been doing this for more than a decade now, showing that he's still got that arm strength from back when he was the number one overall pick. And I'm telling you, nothing will let up a crowd more than a play like that. Here in the stadium, all eyes were on the receivers streaking downfield, and you know everyone was thinking, throw it, he's open. What a connection there for the touchdown. Extra point by Kerr, up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Well, this is going to be a return from the middle of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. You oh, gotta push man. it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. A first and ten here. You know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Now another timeout called for by the offense and call it timeout. as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Second and ten. Play action. Now it's Mahomes oh. on the move to his left. And that's caught left side by the tight end, Gray. And that that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 40. They go play action. Now Mahomes sliding out of the pocket. Looking downfield for Kelsey. Right. And this is caught. And all the way to the two-yard line out of there bounds. before crossing over out of bounds. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They'll try to run with Edwards Alaire. And he takes this into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Elaire as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead is down to four. 17, Chiefs 13. Boy, they're down only one score. Still first half. What are you but they're going to line up for the onside kick. And this one travels out Thank of bounds. You. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. Why corner? Thanks for building an awesome fucking. Throwing now, Ryan on first down. He completes this to Russell Gage. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Ryan to throw. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. I honestly, Picked I hate this game. Juan Thornhill. And the Chiefs are going to get the football here as he gets this up past the 20-yard line. CD, he tried to kind of lob that one in there. It looked pretty going through the air. The problem was it, it was in the air a little bit too long. Why? Yeah, and that's a tough one because for that type of a route and what he tried Why to do and needed to do, catch it, he had to they die. It. it doesn't make the any sense to me whatsoever. Of it because it hung up there just long enough for him to get there and take it away. And going deep for Hill. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're just about set to get back to it. Both teams making their final adjustments, and we'll head back to Atlanta and rejoin Brandon and Charles. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Falcons back to receive. They've got the lead, and they'll get this football as the second half gets oh underway. Goodness. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. And Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? But paraphrasing oh, the gold medal yeah. hockey winning. Typical he shakes himself free. The 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Tyreek Hill. So 75 good. yards. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. This is what Chiefs users do all the fucking time. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that gives him a three point lead. You want to do that shit? Okay. Let's do that shit. Man. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to Let's kick it this. away. 
from his end zone. Here comes Patterson. And Patterson will not return it. It comes out to the 25. In the stretch. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out yep. on offense, they're zeroing Told in you. on one big Told corner. Daryl Patterson, 20. Prime time, baby. And he is into the end zone for the Falcon touchdown. So there, Charles, I mean, a situation where it didn't matter how far he had to run, he was not going to be denied, and he winds up taking this all the way to the end zone. And this is a play defensively where you're just looking around and saying, what was that? What just happened? You're looking at your teammates. They're looking at you. And let's face it, your defensive coordinator, he's not going to tip his cap to him. That's not how football works, but he probably should have after that run. That was absolutely sensational. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled at the 15. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-plug drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the last time. I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. They go play fake. Mahomes. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Brady Jarrett making his presence felt. He gets the sack. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. Thank you. And Mahomes is going to go down in the end zone, and that is going to be a safety. So troubles here offensively. I tell you, the noise in this dome, that has got to make it harder for these guys to hear. Sometimes I find myself shouting up here. But you're right. If you can't communicate well or get off the snap count properly, it can cause big problems. And this qualifies as a big problem. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they hit the home run last drive. One play on the ground all the way to the house. Now the defense, maybe they're expecting a run here. Partner, I love your description because when we talk about hitting the home run, we're usually thinking about a passing play, aren't we? Something in the air, deep ball. But how about them just taking it? Big time jaunt. Now if you're coming back out, now they've established this run game. The play action pass. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Falcons. Yes, Russell Gage, 61 yards. And the Falcons are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. As he was shuffling right out of the pocket, you could just tell he was going to take a shot downfield. He had his eyes down there the whole way. He certainly did. He wasn't taking off to go, right? When he was flush from the pocket, a lot of times you see him, eyes will drop, ball will get tucked, and he takes off, becomes a running back. But as you noted, Stayed alive as a passer. Tremendous body control and a pretty good arm there, too. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And last time they surrendered to safety, we know they don't want to do that again. That is just one of those oddities in scoring that we get. And it's just so strange to see that go up on the board. And then you've got to make sure that that doesn't happen to your team again. They've got to take care of the ball. But boy, it juices up the defense. Oh, without a doubt. That's a great way to score some points. Mahomes now on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Hill. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying Number to free six. up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Mahomes firing complete. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. It's a big play there for the Chiefs. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Now Mahomes. This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Chiefs are able to get this back within a touchdown. Extra point by Butker is on target. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Patterson going to bring this out of the end zone. No return here for Patterson, so they'll begin things at the 25-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there and it's second and 11. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. Escaping the pressure right. And that is caught. It's Ridley. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there. Going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. And he's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second down, it's Patterson. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. I think we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Here's Patterson. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. 103 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. Flush to his right. So slow. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. The improv on the yeah. scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Watch this. Second and four. Ryan. What the hell? And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Juan Thornhill. not ready for us and he will take this one home oh, it's a touchdown <laughs> well dare i that's so fucking stupid how the hell does that work how the fuck does... he doesn't even fucking do the route properly and then nobody catches the fucking pit oh my god i hate this game bro I hate this fucking game.
it's kind of quid pro hey, quo. Both defenses down. now with an interception return for a touchdown. That was Your so stupid. Sir. That shouldn't even well happened. That Don't shouldn't have even fucking point. happened. It's up and good. And we are tied. If you Here just would have did the rope properly, that wouldn't have fucking happened. But you didn't even do the rope properly. Like, what are you doing? The kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. Oh my god. From his end zone, his here comes Patterson. Bolt. And Patterson not going to return this. It'll come out to the 25. Pete Patterson. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense so at the line. Nice. They will look to flush the memory of that pick six as we now have a brand new tie ball game here in the fourth quarter. Getting down to the good stuff. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. From the shotgun, Ryan eluding the pressure right. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Maybe a frustration penalty there because he's picked them apart. They've tried their best to get to him and haven't done it successfully. A penalty as a result of that hit there. Now a give right side. Patterson. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Hey, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size... This intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, oh, no, he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there, the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. They run with Patterson. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Tackle made there by Frank Clark. Second down at seven. Brings up second down. Seven. Now a give right side. Okay. Patterson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. They'll try the left side. It's Patterson. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 145 yards rushing for him now as his sensational afternoon continues. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. They run the counter. Patterson, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. 8665. From back at the four, here's second and goal. Here's Ryan. Flushed out right. And that's going to be caught. Touchdown. And they've broken our tie here in the final minute. The Chiefs will use the first of their time Let's out. Go. As they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. Two able to connect on the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead. Let's go, Calvin. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And 
with time a factor here late, he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25. offense about set to begin this drive one possession game <laughs> time very much a factor how does the offense handle this situation well in a lot of cases they should be somewhat relaxed and i know that's counterintuitive because this is a pressure situation but this is friday practice every week of the season you go over this situation having to go downfield limited timeouts got to get out of bounds and keep the drive going and set yourself up Defensively, you can't just lay back and let them do whatever they want. So it is a cat and mouse deal here. How much pressure will the defense bring, and how much pressure can the offense handle? We're going to find out. And Mahomes misfires again, and it's intercepted. Picked off by A.J. Terrell. And the Falcons have just about sewn up this football game. So the deep ball giveth, and now the deep ball taketh away. And you get deep on me here. I like that. Oh, Going to the next guy. level of what you're thinking. And when you think about all the success he's had throwing the football so far, sometimes when you're doing that, you think you're invincible out there. But he was given a cold dose of reality on that throw. out there for their next drive and this one all over but the shouting you might say now there's one timeout remaining defensively but probably no real need to use it here you know the only time they would use it and that is right caught at the 10 yard right. line and he's across for the late touchdown and in the final I'm seconds howard should just about put a camper on this game well this is exactly where i expect teams to take a shot Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels, and that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. One final try for Mahomes. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is intercepted. And that should do it. It's Eric Harris who picks it. And the Falcons come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. But Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what 